So Takeda fights with these bladed whips, and they're used in his normal attacks, a lot of his special moves. Which one do you want to start with? Up to you. Yeah. Right, we'll start with Shirayu. If you read the comic, then you know that Takeda grew up in the Shirayu, and he was trained by Scorpion himself. And you'll also notice, like, in some of his costume, there's some, there's some yellow. Yeah. So this one... No. Oh. You almost messed it. You almost, almost. talked over here. Almost. Almost. almost got blown up, man. It's hard. You been rolling in trash? Respect me, human. I'm serious, you smell awful. Round one. Before we start real quick, there's also visual indicators for each of the... Yes. You kind of didn't mention with Melina, which I apologize for. The visual indicators to show you, I mean, obviously it'll tell you in the top what you're playing as, but what is the visual indicator here for Takeda? His ninja mask. Good. So what, uh, <clears throat> let's go over his common moves All right, quick. So commonly, as I said, the bladed whips are a big part a lot of his normal attacks. He's got some of the best reach in the game. You know, a lot of these normals have huge range, so he gets to play his ground game at a very, very far distance. Mm. But he still does he still have an up close game as well? He does, and that's what's cool about him, is these whip attacks have long range, but they're a little bit on the slow side. But then his ninja training kicks in and he's got some kind of fast ninja type moves right. if you want to close the distance or if you're stuck up close. So he doesn't, he's not only good far away, mm -hmm. he's pretty well rounded. So then his universal special moves, he has uh, this torpedo kick, which you can control the distance, you can do it close or medium or far, you can do it in the air, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of options with that, and you can use this to, you know, close the distance as easily or... You know, if you think the opponent's going to do a projectile and you want to get their projectile. Mm -hmm. Then he has this really cool ninja dagger, which you can use as a projectile or you can use it as a mix-up option. Like we were saying, you can do an overhead into this low. Mm -hmm. And the EX one's especially cool. He holds out three and you can charge it and then you can let it go whenever you want. So you can kind of hold it out. And get in there for some more combo. Potential. Run up to them or maybe try to threaten them and then you jump in, or whatever you want to do, and they have to sit there and be scared of the right. X ones. Right. Then his other universal move is this combo starter. It's kind of dash punch, and it's like a combo filler move. You can do it to get some damage. Kind of like a little fist fury. Right? right. And the EX one is a combo starter. So can you give me a little bit bar? Oh yeah. That one will pop them up, and then you get a jungle combo. Awesome. Which that was not. That was not, fortunately. That's the first drop of the day. It surprisingly didn't come from you. <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, all the fans are like, can you get somebody who doesn't drop combos? Yeah, yeah I uh, guess we can. We tried. So. No. <laughs> um, and then what's special to this variation? So the Shirayu Takeda, he gets uh, some whip moves that are kind of inspired by Scorpion. He has a grounded one, and then he has a jumping one. Now, normally they don't go into combos, but if you do the EX version, he will get a combo. Like you can see, it kind of pops I didn't up. I see the combo. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. And then, Let me see if I real quick, oh. that will give me some meter. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Reptile X ray, just real quick. Yeah. And then the really cool thing is the quick phase, which is a teleport. Uh -huh. And it's kind of like scorpions, you just do it, it's a quick okay. teleport. Let's, restart. Yeah, let's restart that match real quick. We can watch another intro. We can. Yeah, let's not talk. Reptile. I will rip out your throat. Settle down. Round one. We have no sound on the TV, so that could have been the same intro. Yeah, we have no. Jen? It was different. It was All different. Right. Okay, thank you, Jen. So normally you just have your quick little teleport, but then the cool thing is he can charge it and choose when to let it go, or he can not let it go at all. Oh, so you can cancel out of it. Yes. Great. And then the EX one is a combo starter and looks awesome. <laughs> then the air teleport are also totally He has different. an air teleport? He does. Uh. And check this out. Very fast and it recovers. So if they're jumping, they'll get hit. Can you um, jump up? Yeah, I can. Apparently you can. Okay. <laughs> but if not, the more interesting thing is you can let it miss. And then if they try to do anything, you can, you know, combo them or whatever. It's like very tricky. And the EX one is even trickier because he goes the other way and then does an overhead attack. I didn't know what was happening there. See, so totally even lost. you didn't know what was happening. Yeah, I was lost. So he has four really cool teleport moves and the spear moves. 
-hmm. So that's your right. Can we show the throw real quick? Oh, he has a cool throw. That's gonna sting. Alright, so should we uh, go into the next one? Yeah. Next one's gonna be Lasher, where his whips are electrical charged. And it's Scorpion. gonna be more of a long range combo heavy one. Um, you'll see in a second, his special moves are pretty cool in it. So we're seeing a uh, student versus master here. Try. Yeah, I felt it was appropriate. Nice job going canon here. Well, nice job going lore. That's good try. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I always think you're, you know, you can't do it, but every time you prove me wrong. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Pretty thank you. Very surprising. <laughs> yeah. What have you become? I have returned to Quachi's service. Then the Shira Ryu are your enemies. Round one. I don't know what Scorpion said, but he seemed angry. Oh, yeah. No. I've never seen really a happy Scorpion, to tell you the truth. He uh, doesn't even like teddies. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't like teddy bears, but. So, I do. Lasher is all about range. He gets some really good new normals, the slow poke here. Oh, that's brutal. That's long. That's he long gets health. that Fist of Fury punch move, mm -hmm. gets turned into this, which oh, has much more cool. range. Oh, man. He gets kind of a low scoop move. It can trip you up, and if you EX it, they get bounced up more. And then he gets a really strong anti-air whip, which can also be used in combos. As like a combo ender, or combo extender, or you can end the EX one in a splat and kind of run up to them and mix them up. Why, why don't you show us something there? Alright. Is that as far you were gonna go with that? There was one more. There was one more kick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't drop it. The game dropped it for no. you. Gotcha. Right. So yeah, I think this one will be best played at kind of this jump in range, and it'll be really good. I think this is another one where the combo artists are really gonna like messing with it. And something you know we don't talk a lot about, um, but I think it's nice for those. You know, I know we have a lot of fans who play in tournaments. We have a lot of fans who are very good at the game. We also have a lot of fans who. Don't play a lot of fighting games, just love Mortal Kombat. And a, a term that I think is good for everyone who plays games to use is kind of what you alluded to there. Uh, it's called footsies. And like, so yes. where your character wants to stay in relation to like their longest range move. For the yeah, the, the footsies is basically you controlling the space of your character's best attacks. Yeah. So a perfect example would be this character, where this move right here, this overhead, with tons and tons of range. Derek, if he was fighting me, he would have to be very wary of this move, even from this far out. Another one of these moves, and he would have to commit to doing a teleport, right. which if I don't and I block, you know, then I can punish him. Or he would have to attempt to jump in, and that's when I could use this move. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I, just, I read a lot of message boards about people, you know, who love the game and can't wait for Mortal Kombat, but they want to get better. And, like, that's just kind of one of those entry-level terms that once you start thinking about you'll start getting better if you just kind of understand that. Yeah, and, and footsies is a kind of thing where no matter what level of player you're at, you do it, you might just not know that that's what we call it. Right. Yep. So uh, is that it for this one? Yep. All right. Well, well but wait. What? 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 You have full meter. Oh, I think it's time for an expert. Takeda's is interesting because it's done in the air. Awesome. Was that necessary is my question, like the, the foot to the face after. It's his grandmaster too, his yeah. father figure. <laughs> so yeah, right? It's kind let's, of messed up. Let's, uh, let's check out the last uh, variation. All right, this one is very, very interesting. And I think the beautiful thing about the variant system is you'll have maybe one's kind of on the simpler side, it's more basic, yeah. then one could be, you know, like a, the opposite of that. And then there's a lot of these that are really, really interesting and mm. unlike the other variants at all like it really stands out and this is one of those examples I it's, found myself well I found myself with some of my characters I'll have two that I'm really good at and now I'm kind of like well I should probably learn the third one too because you have all of this range of what you yeah can do I think there. that's gonna be the really cool part of the depth of the game yep I've just started flying with Ermac like because I want to learn yeah. it all. Yep, yep. I sensed your arrival because I wanted you to. I'm clearly in the presence of greatness. Round one. Fight. So in Ronin, in addition to the whips, he also gets dual plasma swords. And that will change a bunch of his normal attacks. Which is something somebody would need, right? Uh, 
why, why not just have wits because they also have battle swords? Right. right. And he also gets a bunch of additional special moves. This is the only variant where he has a projectile. He has kind of a beam, and beam projectiles are not something we've done in MK very often, so it's pretty cool. And he gets a projectile reflect. Right. One, two, three, here we go. These always seven. work out really yeah. good. <laughs> All right, there we go, yeah. And then four tries, we're yeah, five, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're five. We're professionals. <laughs> and then the really cool thing is he can, as you'll see, he can drop the sword on the ground. And you can choose the distance you want to drop it. And then he can kind of play his game, and at any time, he can summon it back up. Awesome. So you can kind of do stuff where you throw it down, and maybe, you know, you're trying to throw your projectile, you're trying to get those out. Nope. Ah. I wish when he dropped the sword on the ground, the person in the background just came up and grabbed it and ran away. What if the dog picked it up in its mouth and ran away? <laughs> That'd be awesome. And you can you can do full combos. Yes, the hard. EX1, he gets a full combo if it hits, and he can do it in a block string. So if, meaning if the opponent's blocking and you think they're going to continue to block, that would be your chance to throw the sword out and have it active. Okay. You can use it in offense, like I said, defense with projectiles or offense. You can have it out. And then Derek's sitting there scared blocking. Oh, I'm so scared. And I can kind of run up, go for combos, or throws, or whatever you feel like doing. The world is your oyster. It's your oyster. Okay. It is. I, uh, I think oh, we're also using the uh, Master of Storm, which a lot of people on Twitter actually wanted to see. So that's cool, Derek. Nice job. Well, you know, I listen to the people. I <laughs> you really do. do. You do. Uh, you want to you finish me up here? Let's, let's see what happens. Are you happens. sure you want to show that? I think we do. We're going to do that? We're gonna do, do we want to do that? I want to do it. Oh, let's uh, do it. I don't know if the stream wants that, though. They do. They do. Finish him. Takeda wins. Fatality. I'm, I'm a little disturbed. No, but I'm That's gross. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm even a little disturbed. That is one of my faves. Um, that was that was different. I think now we should go through some. Uh...